kidding, that is one. I bit my tongue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it hurts. I'll spit that blood for a minute there. Fine. Um, yeah, good times. So, uh, box fits through the door, no problem. Everyone always asks if it was hard to get the stuff into the RV. The boxes that the stuff comes in are made to fit through, I think it's either a 26 or a 28 inch door. So they are made to fit through RV doors. We've had no trouble getting stuff in. We've definitely had trouble getting the old stuff out, as you've seen in previous videos. So, um, this is it just cut open. Look, it's the same color as Things. It's the back. Oh, it's the back. Yeah. Oh, are this the back cushions inside? Yep. What? So this is the main reason we want this. Yeah, it's like a piano bed. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so man, this. handle that. Well, there are seat belts. Yeah, we do have two sets of seat belts there and over on the so, other side. We have to line this up right too, so that the table sits down on that thing. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be there-ish. Mm -hmm. So is there hardware for this, Tara? Yeah, this stuff. All right, we figured it out. There are three little panels. This thing actually, it was forward. It rotates up and then there's a, uh, a little like receiving nut sunk in there. One in the middle, one over there. And it comes with a little Allen wrench, but work smarter, not harder. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip these in real quick. All right, and then you said there was fabric covering Velcro? Yeah, so there's already the sticky, or the... Uh-huh, the, the hard side of the Velcro. So it came with this. So that was just to cover it during yeah. shipping. And then this has the soft side, soft side here. Okay. Good. Yeah, right. did I put that on right? No, it is not attached to the fork. That's a lot lower. Did I put that on right? Yeah. How else would you put it? I don't know. Okay, so uh, go ahead and give it a try. Oh, it's squishy. Yeah. It's not as deep. Oh, back to your bed and all the things under the thing. <laughs> it's not as deep as that one. Yeah. It's comfortable though. It's comfortable. Yeah. Once both of them are in there, we'll slide them a little bit, yeah. line them up at the table. And then I'll get some L brackets and attach it to the floor. Yeah. So, all right. So uh, that's it for tonight. Um, I will be dismantling that guy over here and dealing with some wiring tomorrow. All righty. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Say bye, Tara. Wow. Give me back my mug. Wait. Here, here. Get in the box with Ben. Here, take it. There you go. Bye. <laughs> All right, I interrupt the current video to talk about the Magna Shade again. I've got it slung over my shoulder here. Uh, and this is my little um, installation rod. And uh, we got a lot of questions in the last video about how hard or easy it is to install by yourself. And we just had our first moving day since installing the magnets for it. Uh, so I'm gonna go install it right now. And I've never done this before. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I have this wrapped up. Um, I followed the, the instructions and the thing. So I just basically kept folding and folding and folding and it kind of sticks to itself. This might actually be the hardest part. Unrolling it? Getting this apart, yeah. And I don't want Erin to help me. Okay. I will not she offer it. She was reaching, <laughs> but no, I want to see how it goes by myself. You took it off by yourself. Yeah, taking it down was easy. Okay. The next difficult part might just be getting it past the wipers. So I have them out. So you see the, there's a big pocket here. And there's one of the magnets here. This is aluminum, so it's not magnetic. Non-ferrous metals. <laughs> um, so it just kind of goes this way. So I have to go over. Okay. Nope. Maybe the trick is to use the wipers instead of fighting against them. Okay. Oh, wrong magnet. <laughs> Alrighty. So that's one. Whoa. Whoa, the sides the just side, go on? The whole side just attached. I heard it. Uh oh. <laughs> Man, these exterior ones are a pain in the butt. So the upper ones aren't as strong. Right. So maybe I just have to get them on the bottom and then... 
Okay. See, because that top one keeps falling off. Mm hmm. Okay, so they're all on. They just need to be wiggled into place. It's quite a pucker there that I don't know. Maybe from this side you guys can see. It's just a little bit puckered, like right up in there. Now these edge ones here, they aren't pockets, so I can't get into it and push. Yeah. I just have the seam. I can't. I do this. Nope. Still that pucker there. I That's wonder why. Better. I think. Uh, Maybe when the sun hits it, it'll relax a little it might, bit. I mean, it's not that I don't really care. It's going to do the same no matter what. The the smoothing out is just to reduce, like, the interior artifacts. Because it's that, you know, it's like looking through this material. It does that, like, moiré pattern when you look through it. We're having, like, a science lesson today. I know. We've got non-ferrous metals. We've got a moiré pattern. What else can we talk about? I don't about? know. Solar radiation and how it's destroying my skin? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, it'll uh, it'll warm up and it'll relax a little bit. I feel like if the top corner ones were interior magnets, they'd be a lot stronger. And the way I first tried to do it would have worked. Yes. Because they're just not strong enough to hold the whole thing. So when that one snapped on and I tried to move further to the left, it had all the weight of the shade on that tiny magnet and just fell. Yeah. So I think what I will do is next time I put them on, and we'll do a follow-up, because um, we'll be putting them on and off a lot this summer. We're moving every week this summer. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll put the wipers out, and I'll kind of lay it across the wipers, and then do the bottom corners, and then work my way up. I yeah. think I'll do it opposite of how I thought you were supposed to do it. And if it had been a different way, yeah. where there had been those big rare earth magnet up on the Everyone top. Everyone I've talked to has the big magnets inside up top. And they and say, oh, you just snap the corners in right. and the rest just kind of, that's why yeah. I tried to do that first. Yep. And so. that, I mean, that just logically makes sense. But yeah, yeah. Ours are not like no. everybody else's. We no, gotta so be a think, little different. So I think I'll use the wipers to hold the weight yes. and work my way up. I think that's fine. But uh, well, that'll be uh, uh, two weeks from today. We'll try it again. <laughs> All right, back to the normal video now. Okay, so we're, uh, there's going to be some issues down here, and I knew that coming into this. Um, there's a lot of wires, like a lot of wires down here, and they come through the floor there, which is not a problem, but they go up the wall there, and we're also going to lose an outlet, which is attached to the front here. I'm just going to detach that uh, outlet. And we're just going to go ahead and pull the dinette all the way out, and then we'll take a look at the wiring and see if there's a way to, I don't know, like cut a notch in the new one for that wiring to come in. Yeah, Aaron just made a face, but some of you probably made a face about cutting a notch into a brand new dinette, but... I don't know what else to do. Yeah, but they, the wiring has to come in here, because that wiring, all of the wiring for this entire slide comes in from underneath right there and then back up through the wall. So there's electrical wiring and stuff for the lights and the outlets up in here. So I can't just disconnect all of that stuff. No, nothing's ever easy. <laughs> we did the correct bench first. Yeah, right, that one was super <laughs> easy. Vector's, Vector's supervising as usual. Always. Yeah, so, all right, let's, uh, let's choose a different angle for this part. have to attach these dinettes to the floor. These were the screws that were through here, right? Yes. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm, always, I'm very, very leery about how far to put a screw into a slide floor for obvious reasons. Like you put one too far through, that would be bad. So that sticks through a little over an inch. 
So if I get brackets, like little L brackets for the couch cloths, kind of an inch long, inch and a quarter maybe, to go through the bracket and into the floor. So, all right, so let's get this out of the way. And then, I don't know what to do about that spaghetti monster down there. Do some, some cord management. Yeah, I, it's, I don't know, yeah. It's a lot. It is. Um, okay, so all of these wires are out. Uh, we don't need that outlet because I don't have anywhere to put it. Um, so I disconnected it and I've got like, there's a big, I would say half of that is a long lead for that subwoofer that was right there, which is okay. <laughs> so this is what's left. Uh, most of this, all, all of this here is seat belts. There's an HDMI and an optical audio cable here that comes from up above and over to the TV. And I wanna go ahead and keep that because uh, I have all this other wiring, so what's another wire? Um, and then there is some electrical stuff down here. So this big loom here, uh, I thought I would be able to just unplug that and take this whole thing out. Um, couldn't do that. Part of the power control system is all of the lights are computer controlled. So when we hit the switches, it talks to the computer. The computer tells the lights which lights to turn on and off, and that communicates through there. So. There is power down there, but there's also all of these wires for computer control. Uh, there's probably audio stuff in there, but I'm not gonna bother weeding it out, um, even though I don't need it because I'm gonna have to keep that loom anyway. So now the dilemma, this little gap here, where it comes up through the floor, that's not a problem because there's, there's enough space here. The problem is here where it goes into the wall, the bench needs to sit on the floor there. So I'm gonna have to probably cut a notch in the bench and I'm not thrilled about that. So we're gonna bring the other bench in and uh, take a look at it. All right, we've decided to cut. You've decided to cut and I'm supporting your choice. I've decided to cut and she is hesitantly supporting my choice. <laughs> so what we're dealing with here is this, this is the new dinette, All right, standing up on its side. So this is the side that's gonna be up against that wall over there. I'm basically going to be cutting out a four by four inch-ish square. I'm kind of gonna go for like a mouse hole shape. She doesn't want me to film this. So you get to see the results right now. And we're back. It's uh, about two hours later. Um, I had to uh, call in a favor and went over to Dan's house. Dan had saws, like proper saws. This is some sturdy plywood. So the end of this, um, the end of the couch is a solid piece of plywood. And it's actually really sturdy, thick, nice plywood. So uh, we ended up just cutting basically a four by four square. And Aaron had the idea to cut the fabric here and leave a big flap so that we could then pull it around and staple it. So it looks like, were you? Were you I was smiling. You were you smiling for that. <laughs> So now we've got this nice uh, four inch gap and uh, we're gonna it fit. put it down there. Look at that, look at my little hole. It's really dark in here. <laughs> um, I'm not opening the windows because it is 103 outside right now. But the wires are coming through the hole and those wires are not being pinched at all. Let's clear the table off, drop it down and see what happens. Okay. All right, there's a lot of, bring this one over. Nope, huh? come back up. Well, yeah. Mm. So the, the colorful wires have a lot more play in them. So that'll be fine. Yep, that'll be fine. Okay. okay, so with the table down, kind of, we have a little bit of a gap over here, right? Oh, we don't yeah. have the backer on yet. No. But there is a little bit of a gap, it's about, about a hand width down there. Okay. Um, and then over here, there's definitely more of a gap because this was squished up against the other dinette that was in here. But like you said yesterday, we keep losing the controller down there. Yep. So it makes it easier to it's access. A little easier to get. <laughs> so yeah, I will, um, not today, I, we're done with this for today, uh, but I will get angle brackets. I will have the table down. So that's where everything goes. Right, because that is that is the absolute position of whiny children. That is the absolute position that it needs to fit in. Everything else is fine. So, that's plenty oh, yeah. of space. I mean, there's plenty of space for him, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I think we're done for today. All right.
Alrighty. Well, once again, huge thank you to Retro. Yes, we um, love all of our pieces. Yeah, so we bought the couch. Just a quick timeline. We bought the couch. Yep. They saw our video of us installing it. They loved it. They loved our redheaded children because the I think the marketing manager and the DP are redheads. So they were like, hey, can we send you captain's chairs? Which are those ones up there. They're beautiful. Because uh, we were talking about them getting all flaky and crappy. Mm -hmm. And they sent us those and they are amazing yep. as well. Uh, and then Dinettes came back in stock and we had talked about replacing these. So mm -hmm. we got Dinettes too. And they're all great. Yeah. They're I'm great. excited that everything now matches. Yes. And it all came from Retro, so we know the quality is really good. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been really good about customer service too. I think uh, really. someone that used our referral link, 5go.com slash Retro, mm -hmm. um, had uh, something was wrong with one of the, like the flip down thing on the couch. Like it, oh, it, like it, the it started to separate or something. They sent a photo and Retro just sent them a new one. Like no questions asked. Fantastic. Just him and just told him to toss the old one. That's so, the way it should be. Yeah, it's really good stuff. And uh, really good people too. Everyone yeah. we talked to there is great. And actually, while we're on our summer caravan this summer, during the summer, because I said summer, why am I saying <laughs> summer, summer so much? summertime? <laughs> during our summer caravan, we are going to visit them up in Indiana. Yeah. Right, because they're near all the other stuff in Elkhart. Uh, they're, they're just outside of Elkhart. And uh, we're going to visit them. They have a brand new showroom that they're opening up. They said it should be done by the time we're there. I hope it is. Uh, so we'll be able to check out their new showroom and hope I want to see like the warehouse and all that stuff. So yeah, and we're I just want to meet. You guys. I just want to meet these awesome people. Yeah. So so we'll be out there checking all that out uh, in about two months or so. I think it's like mid July. So that'll be fun. Yeah. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, if you have any furniture needs for your RV, five to go.com slash rec pro, you get like five percent off. Uh, they do free shipping for, I think, over a certain dollar amount, which is easy to hit with furniture. Yeah. So, and they're super, super fast. Like yeah. we had the tracking number for these on Friday and they got to our friend's house on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. So really, really fast. Yeah. Great stuff. Great stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, we are going to button up a couple things over here and cook some dinner and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.